Hi, my name is Barbara, and I'm also known as Moo Cow Mama. Today I'm going to show you how to make a no sew uh, pad for your Swiffer mop. The pads are reusable, and it's very easy to do. You just need a few tools. I have them laid out right here. You need a tape measure. You need a pair of scissors so that you can use to cut fabric, pen and paper, and a roller, and of course, you need the mop. First thing that you want to do is measure your mop. So get your mop. Now this pattern can be used for any mop that has pressure holes on top to hold the pad on. This is particular one is going to be for the Swiffer mop. You want to take your tape measure. You start at one pressure hole on the top of your mop and you measure all the way around to the other pressure hole on the other side. And this is measuring seven inches. Give yourself one extra inch for your fabric. Write that down. That's going to be your width, eight inches. Then we're going to measure the length. Start at one side of the bottom of your mop. Go all the way across to the other. It's measuring 10 inches. Now you want to add two extra inches to this measurement so that you have one inch on either side of extra fabric. So we're going to write down length, 12 inches. Now, once you have your mop measured, the next thing you're going to do is go to the fabric store. The fabric that you're looking for is called fleece. Fleece is made from polyester. It's a very nice, stretchy, sweatshirt type of material. It's most commonly found on bolts that are 60 inches wide. Now, 60 inches wide is going to be from one open end of the fabric all the way across 30 inches and then back across to the other open end, so 60 total. Once you find the fabric that you like, Take it to the cutting counter and ask them to cut you an 8 inch wide piece. I'm going to go ahead and cut that now. Okay, once they give you your fabric cut, then you're going to go home and finish your cuts there. Okay, now we're home from the fabric store and you've got your cut of fabric that you got. And what you want to do is make sure that the selvage ends are together. Now the selvage is where they place the fabric on the loom when they're weaving it together and sometimes those ends are just not so nice. So you just want to open out your fabric, make sure it's even from end to end, selvage to selvage and then you trim that part off. Don't trim too much, just enough to get that part off. Then you need a straight edge area. If you don't have a cutting table, then you can use your regular table if it's got a straight edge, or you can even do it against the wall. That works for you. And you're going to start from the selvage. Take your roller and measure out 12 inch marks. First mark 12 inches, second mark 12 inches, then take your roller and make a straight line across. Make sure it's square with your straight edge table or wall. And then you take your scissors and you're going to cut through both sides of the both pieces of the fabric at the same time along the lines that you made. And there you are. You have five pieces. This last piece will open out and be 12 inches. It may be a little more and you can trim it if you like. If you don't care, you can leave it the way it is. You have five pieces for your mop. You take your pad, put it in the pressure holes on the top, nice and tight, stretch it around. Put it in the pressure holes on the other side and there's your mop pad and you have a little bit extra fabric on either side which is great for dusting baseboards getting underneath the refrigerator when you're done dusting take the pad outside shake it out all the dust will come out and then you can put it back on your mop and wet clean the floors and it works great when you're done throw it in the laundry you can wash it and dry it if you don't want to make these I have them in my shop on Etsy and I'm 
Moo Cow Mama on Etsy. I have rainbow colors and I have regular cleaning colors and you can get them there. So I hope that you can use this pattern. I hope you have some fun with it and you can save some money. And I look forward to seeing you again on YouTube.